Chef's favorite question is like, um, <laughs> do you have anything interesting at the moment? Yeah. <laughs> even though, even though we've got now we're growing like 40, 45 different varieties, I think we still get asked like almost weekly. Uh, so no, there's four areas that you really focus on from a sustainability perspective. Um, energy, the growing medium, the packaging, and also how you make your deliveries. Could you yeah. tell us a little bit more about each of those and how they influence what you do in the business? I mean, the most obvious one when you're looking here, maybe is the, the deliveries, yeah. Yep. This is, um, I like to call it the urban greenhouse. When I first sat down with Jose and we started talking about the business, it was very important to build sustainability in from the very beginning. So a lot of people have told us, you know, over the years, why do we package the way we do? And a lot of people have said, just, just put it in, you know, plastic sleeves, because it would be much quicker and much cheaper. Um, but the first thing that chefs comment on when they see our product is the packaging. One of the things I'm most proud of in the business. Um, and, and the pots are... So the pots are recyclable. Yep. So we go like this and then we just put it inside. And I mean, it just, it looks so different to anything else on the market. Can you tell me just off the top of your head, the top, top yep. um, picks for chefs? Um, unfortunately, they correlate with the ones that take the longest to grow, <laughs> uh, of course. Um, I mean, like Red Van Sorrel is, like I sometimes I say it's the Mercedes Benz of uh, microgreens, just because like it's got the three things which I think personally you need in, um, you know, in a good microgreen. It's got flavor, so it's got like a really tart, um, it's, a little, it's, it's a little bit bitter, same as the mm -hmm. Oxalis. It's got texture and it's got, it's got the aesthetic as well.